guys. So uh, today I was able to swing by the comic book store um, and I also have some stuff from just eBay purchases the last couple weeks that I thought we would take a look at. Um, honestly not too much at the comic book store. I think I had like four issues in my safer and uh, two of them I put back. Uh, you know, they, they tend to kind of throw stuff in there hoping that you will buy it and and then start with the series but a lot of it is you know they put some future state dc stuff which i'm i'm confused as to why dc still has future state branding um <clears throat> right now the only dc i'm picking up is uh, a couple of the tom king miniseries so i'm not reading anything from the regular universe but there was like a you know, some sort of red Hood gotham thing they tossed in there. Uh, I put that back. And then there was a, a series from Dark Horse that was from the Hellboy universe, but not by Mike Mignola, so, you know, that wasn't really, um, enticing, so, but anyways, first let's see a few things that I picked up off of eBay recently. Um, this is All-Star Squadron number 52 from 1985. Um, I like the JSA uh, as a team, so All-Star Squadron is basically the JSA. Um, so this one just had a really cool cover with you know, Shazam and uh, Green Lantern and Johnny Quick and uh, is it Johnny and Jesse, right? Uh, I guess there's a Hawkman bonus um, story with this, uh, I always found this Hawkman um, mask slash cowl to be a little crazy looking, but, you know, um, yeah, but this was a, you know, I picked that one up, and the same seller had a few different All-Star Squadrons, so I also picked up issue 54, um, just a couple issues later. Our Man, Batman, Flash, um, I forgot this guy's name, um, and then I, I don't know if this is Sandman, uh, actually has, like, looks like he has a spider motif, I don't know who that guy is, but, um, you know, these were going pretty cheap, so, uh, this one I really love the cover on. This is issue 60 of All-Star Quadrant, and it says the Justice Society is back, uh, which is a little silly because All-Star Squadron and Justice Society are honestly pretty uh, interchangeable. Um, so uh, we got Sandman, Wonder Woman, um, The Atom, Dr. Midnight, outfit, um, but the 
this is, I don't know what this is, it's very, uh, it almost looks like a Dracula cape that she has on, but, um, I saw this one, and, and the, the cover was just striking enough that I figured I'd pick it up, because it was on the cheap anyways, and, um, you know, it looks like they're kidnapping Zatanna, which, you know, once you shut her up, is it, probably easy to do, so... This one was a kind of a random eBay purchase. Um, if you watch uh, Cartoonist Kayfabe on um, on YouTube, it's a, a channel with Ed Biscor and Jim Rugg, and they look at comics and and uh, things like that. And one of them they did recently was they looked at uh, this issue of Ultraman Tika uh, by Tony Wong and Ku Fuk Um and I guess Kofa Long and Tony Wong are, are big uh, guys from like the 80s. Um, oh, that's a weird uh, sticker. No, oh, it's a sticker. That's weird. Uh, but they're from uh, like the 80s uh, Kung Fu and like Ninjutsu comics. And uh, on um, Cartoon is Gay they happen to look through this issue because it has some really cool uh, Ultraman like hardcore fighting. Um, art. So I went on eBay and picked this one up because I'm a big Ultraman fan in general. So that seemed like a, an easy pickup. I don't know why this... Like, oh, the, oh, the, oh, put stickers on your comics. Honestly, when I bought it, I didn't even notice that it was a sticker um, on the comic. I guess somewhere there's a store that doesn't want to deal with barcodes and decided to barcode the front. Uh, <laughs> So the next few things are just from my trip to the comic book store today. Um, more back issues than anything. So I went through the Conan just to look. Um, honestly, a lot of it I had. Uh, this one, I, it didn't look familiar to me, so I picked it up. Uh, so it's Conan 72 from 1976. And uh, him and still. It seems like, I don't know, Bailey was along in these adventures a lot longer than I remembered her being. Um, I've been buying issues recently, and she's in almost every one, so. Let's see, then we have Conan number 84 from 1977. Um, it mentions the Hawk City. I've, I have a few issues where they're at the Hawk City, so. John Bushima art. So I, I picked this one up. I don't know who this Zula character is. I've never heard of him. But, uh, you know, this one I knew for sure I didn't have. So, um, picked that one up. They have a, a good amount, honestly, of Conan back issues, but I've been through them so many times that I'm running out of issues. Or, you know, I'll see a cover and I'm thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure I have them. one of the issues I bought last time, um, I didn't, I don't think I had that particular issue of Conan the Barbarian, um, and the cover I hadn't seen, but the interior, like on page one, it was like, well, our inker couldn't get the issue done, so here's a story from, um, Conan, uh, or Savage Sword of Conan, first time in color. And it just happened to be a savage sword of Conan that I, I have a copy of. So it's just a color version of the savage sword of Conan story that I already had. And uh, it's actually a story that not only did I have that issue of savage sword, but I had a um, one of the dollar Conan reprints that they did when they got the rights back. And it was the same story. So I, I flipped through it just to see what the color art looked like, but uh, it was kind of a, a waste of a purchase. <laughs> um, one more thing I picked up, just because I wanted to try it out, was Call the Conqueror, or Call the Destroyer, I guess. Um, they actually had issue one, which I might, I might go back and pick up next time I'm there. It was like nine bucks. Um, but Cole was... Uh, a creation of Robert E. Howard before Conan. He's basically from a little bit earlier time period, and Conan later on, I think they kind of retconned Conan to be a descendant of Cole. Um, but uh, you know, I, they have a Cole series for a while, not 
they're not nearly as long as Conan, but um, I picked up this issue uh, just to see how it is. I've heard that Cole is more of a, he's got more of an inner monologue or, you know, a little bit deeper character than, than Conan, so it'll be easy, interesting to see if they write it any differently or if it's just Conan, basically. that I picked up. Um, this one I hadn't heard of, but it's from Mike Mignola and Christopher Golden, and it's called uh, Kajakaru the Skinner. Um, on the top it says Tales from the Outerverse. I, I don't know what that is. Um, I read all the Mike Mignola stuff I can get, but my, my store is a little bad about putting it in my saver. Uh, like, this wasn't in my saver, but the, the Dark Horse, like, Hellboy verse thing that, that wasn't by Mike Mignola was. Um, and I've been kind of hit or miss if I can get, like, the Baltimore series from them. So, I saw this on the stand. It was the last one. And uh, just based on Mike Mignola and Christopher Golden, I picked that up. Um, it looked to be, I don't know if it's the Baltimore universe or what. But, uh, one of two, if I don't see the second, that'll be a shame, but I wouldn't be surprised if I don't. Um, in here, actually, I flipped through when I was at the store just to see, like, what's the outer verse, if they were going to explain it. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Uh, I did see an ad for Lady Baltimore, um, so I might need to tell them to pick that up, depending on how this is. Um, so we'll see. Last but not least, we have uh, Rorschach, issue 8. Uh, this is a miniseries by Tom King, and uh, it's been very interesting. It's playing on the Watchmen uh, universe, but not not the same way as, like, uh, what was that uh, stuff they did? Um, well, they had that Jeff John story with the Watchmen universe and the DC universe kind of overlaying, well, God, what was that called? I lost the name of that one, but you, you know what I'm talking about. And then uh, a few years back, remember they had the, uh, like, before Watchmen, was that what it was called? When they had the, the three or four miniseries, and uh, Alan Moore was uh, a little angry that they were <laughs> poking at Watchmen. Um, but Rorschach, to me, has been pretty... Uh, it's been good, and it's been, um, I guess the, the right word would be, uh, uh you know, he, he defers to, uh, Alan Moore. He's not, um, I, I, you know, it doesn't seem like he's stepping on his feet at all. Um, you know, yes, does it use some Watchmen characters? Yeah. But in a way that is, uh, you know, really treading on anything that Alan Moore did, and it doesn't seem to be so. I think this is supposed to be 12 issues. Um, not quite sure. Uh, all I'm picking up from DC right now is this and Strange Adventures from Tom King and Batman and Catwoman. Um, they just announced Tom King is going to be coming on to uh, Supergirl and they had a couple preview images of that. That looks interesting so I told them to put me on, put me down for that. We'll see if they freaking remember or not. Um, but, yeah, I mean, DC for me right now, I was getting Detective Comics by um, Peter Tomasi, but then they uh, put somebody else on that book, and the Superman books are kind of, uh, the Batman books I don't particularly like where they've gone with that, and honestly, I can't think of any other characters that they're running with right now that, um, that interests me, unfortunately. Um, the Flash stuff from Williamson was okay, but I, it felt, uh, a little tedious. Uh, Grant Morrison's Green Lantern is just, uh, an acid drip, so I didn't much like that. Um, Justice League just rebooted with Bendis, but I haven't liked his DC work that much. So, um, yeah, I, I picked up Shazam for the first 
first 12 or 13 issues, but then uh, Jeff Johns came off it, so so did I. So we'll see what goes on with DC here. It uh, seems like they're throwing a lot of stuff at the wall to see if it sticks, and it's not it's not sticking for me, so we'll see. Um, I'm hoping that they do a JSA uh, series soon, because I, I thought that, that was what that, uh, that Jeff Johns Watchmen series was kind of alluding to. They had a lot of like, oh, there's, you know, here's the Thunderbolt and stuff like that, and here's the uh, Legionnaires, but then it, like that series ended and we seemed to just go straight into other junk. So, I don't know. But uh, that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I, I, you know, right now I think I'm going to be a back issue uh, browser and, and the new racks on 